okay? And our starting point here is the dream card. This is an emotion card. This talks about um, we may have certain, you know, we may fancy certain ideas of how our life should be, right? We have um, sort of an outline. It needs to, I'm going to do, go to school for 12 years and then go to school for four more and then, you know, meet somebody, marry, get a job, whatever, like all the plans that we make, right? The dreams that we have of these things will make me happy, right? And what we want to do at this time for you, Taurus, is kind of strip that away because that, and, and it's great to have goals. I'm not saying don't strive for things, but when, if it becomes, um, sort of like this is the th only thing that'll make me happy right this 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 notion of this happily ever after which is shown in this in this card is the only thing that'll make me happy then that's when we get into a little trouble because life doesn't go in a linear way it's not a straight line toward anything life is has tangents it has stops and starts we back up sometimes we go backwards we go forwards you know, we rise above, we, we hang out down below, we stay in place. We, life is not linear. It's all over the place. It's sometimes very messy. It sometimes moves very quickly and sometimes not. And um, that's why sinking into your instinct and just trusting it, trusting, you know, like the wolf, like the animal that just knows what's next, um, what's, what's, next in this moment what feels right now that's what we want you to drop into because that will create so much more opportunity and possibility for you right even though you have a certain game plan that you'd like to see but go with what feels right and then you know you might find that you're even more satisfied right than that happily ever after notion and the trick is be happy now happily ever after isn't something you're reaching toward you have the capacity to be happy now, right? There's lots of sources of joy all around us every day. And we tend to, um, you know, compartmentalize or label things and, and like this, I'll be happy when. And that really, we miss, the, we miss the mark. We miss the signs of these sources of joy that are all around us, right? Um, within you and internally, you're getting this. I think you're becoming more and more empowered. Now this, this breakthrough card is a really, it's a very powerful card and it's happening right in that sh third chakra space, that, that space of, of self empowerment, right? Your will. And, um, it's breaking out. It's really becoming the driving force. Okay. And that's your gut and that's your instinct. Okay. So within you, you may not have put it into practice all the time in your external world, but you've got this growing sense of um, awareness that your instinct has a pretty strong voice and it should be, it should be listened to, right? And then really capturing that and really mastering that, of course, in your external world creates success and it creates rapid success. And success doesn't mean, like I said, achieving that one happily ever after goal. Success is an energy feel. It's a feeling of, I can do, I can do anything. I'll make this choice. And then if it doesn't kind of start to feel right after a while, I'll make another choice. And that is success because you're, you're the forward motion and you're, um, acknowledging and owning your choices and then making new ones. If they're not feeling great, right? You're trusting your gut. That's success. That's the success I'm talking of. Okay. Now moving forward and going to a next level, this, um, this position here talks about, you know, what's needed or the energy to, um, acknowledge or capture in order to keep, keep the growth going for your soul. And that's the spirit of abundance. I love that because it comes right after the success card, right? Success and abundance go hand in hand. And abundance can mean financial prosperity, but it also means depth of love, depth of connection with others, your appreciation 
of everything around you, your appreciation of just life itself, um, being in touch with nature, animals, you know, plants. And I mean, there is so much abundance around us and you will begin to tap into this more and more when you begin to rely more on, on that gut instinct. Okay. And then next level here. Look at that. I love it. Oh, wow. Okay, good, good. Okay, so this next level here, it talks about, you know, looking forward to things, the sense of adventure. I am going to trust my gut. I'm going to make this decision today. I'm going to eat the pasta <laughs> or whatever. I'm going to make this decision today toward my goal. And because it feels good, it feels right. Not because my pro, my mind tells me that it's right. It feels right inside. I don't know how it will come about, right? I can't see. I know that it looks promising, like this figure in the forest sees that rainbow light coming toward her, and she's going toward it. She can't wait. She's excited and can't wait to see what's next, even though she doesn't know, right? That's what will, that, and then that sense of adventure for you that's created by this, this work down here is going to create more of a rapid um, um, progression, right? You'll, you're, you'll start to manifest and you'll really, really feel, um, you know, life's kind of happening for you and you'll really feel that. Um, within you and the internal energy is this Thunderbolt card. So you may find that there are aspects of yourself, perceptions, attitudes, beliefs that you might want to leave behind, right? Like maybe you're a very mentally um, uh, reliant person and you love your logic and you like to make your lists and your goals and everything, which is absolutely a wonderful tool, but not always relied on your instinct so much, right? And then you start to try to, you start to trust it a little more, you know, have the pasta, go right instead of left today and that kind of thing. Trust your instinct. Let that be the guide that flows you through your life. You might feel soon that you have so much to look forward to. You're so excited by this new sort of um, <laughs> really fun and um, um, sort of life validating way of making your days go, you know, moving through your days that you might find, okay, I'm going to do away with lists for now, right? I'm going to shed that or I'm, I don't have to um, keep checking in with myself to this mental checklist of, oh, you know, how many steps till my goal and how, oh, I have four more steps. So I have three more steps. You might find that that habit falls away or something, but there is an aspect of yourself within that you can shed and you'll feel lighter along the way. And what you will do as well is alleviate stress in your external world. Okay. Just by going with the gut. Okay. Um, and there's also another aspect of this I want to say is that if going with your gut makes others around you feel like, what are you doing? You're not, you're making wrong decisions or whatever there. First of all, there's no need to really have to make anyone understand your, what drives you, but it's nice to be able to share <laughs> your experience and have, see if they can try to understand. And, and there is, there, there can be a non-defiant way of going about this where it's, yeah, you know what? It just feels right. It just feels right to do, to make that decision right now. And that's all you need to say, right? There doesn't have to be any real strong justification or validation of your actions. You know, as long as you're doing no harm to others, following your instinct is always the best bet, right? As long as you're not harming anyone or, um, you know, uh, neglecting anyone in any grand way, trusting your own gut and going with what's right for you is the perfect way to live. This is the most freeing way to go about um, your life, right? And there may be some of you Taurus who already do this, right? And you're probably like, yeah, I don't need this reading. Then take this as just sort of a gentle reminder and an enforcement that you're on the right track. You're doing it 
you're, you know, I already do this. I already trust my instinct. Well, then even better, right? Because then you're living proof. Okay. And like I said, no decision is final. So even if your gut says, try the pasta, but then you end up with a stomach ache, right? Next time you won't, you'll make a different decision, right? Or whatever. That's a very trite example, but um, you know what I mean, right? And then the overall outcome and uh, message in this reading by following your instinct and, and trusting in, uh, you know, your, in your gut is that you will find your relationship to change changes. Okay. Because change is continuous. It's always happening. Just like this wheel here, it's spinning round and round and round. And it's not really going to stop. And it, and if you're grabbing onto the outer edges there of that wheel, you'll get dizzy pretty soon. You might even fly off. You'll get hurt. But if you rest into the center and to hear where the yin yang symbol is and rest there, because that's where your gut lies, right? In the center of your being, right? This breakthrough card shows it. Look at that center is powerful and strong. Resting in that, the change in that whirly stuff that's going on all around you will still be there, but you're experiencing it differently, right? Change is always going to come. That's what life is. It's not linear. It's not easy all the time. It's not a direct line from point A to B. It's all over the place. And it's always changing. So by trusting that instinct and resting in that knowledge that I'm going to put my trust in my intuition and in my in my spirit, then your relationship to this motion of change shifts, right? And the changes, the changes will still happen, but you'll be okay. You know, I, I realize now that change happens and maybe it's uncomfortable for a little while but then more change will come and I, i'm ready for it right so i like that i like that outcome there as far as the top of this reading because it's a it's a full circle you're you're starting with your gut and then you're ending with sort of a higher awareness of the way things work a more global perspective sort of right a, a more eagle eye view of how everything goes and flows and you can be in the middle of it and not get as damaged or, or in the middle of the destruction by just listening to your to your and trusting your gut.